Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform cross servers or Postgres or SQL instance queries in GCP. So, think about a linked servers, uh, and uh, you, if you are coming with the background with the SQL server, you can create the linked servers between them, and uh, then uh, you can uh, do cross uh, servers query. And uh, uh, from one server, you can uh, join with other uh, servers uh, table, or uh, you can uh, uh, union and all those kind of things. Uh. So, let me. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, explain a little more and then we will uh, perform the demo so right here we have a tbit1 and uh, then a tbit2 think about that the tbit1 has a database that has a table and uh, then a tbit that has a database and has a table and if you want to join uh, those two tables uh, in the single query how you do that uh, that's what we are going to do here now first of all i'm going to go to tbit and uh, copy the ip and uh, then we will use uh, the pg admin to connect to this server i'm going to copy this and go back here and uh, if you notice here, I have uh, the public IP and also I have enabled the private IPs. Um, I tried to create the, the link server, uh, you know, by using the public IP, but that didn't work. Uh, and it was thrown me error. So uh, that's why I enabled the private IP. So this is going to kind of uh, maybe you can try with public, but didn't work for me. So that's why I created the, the private IP and it worked after that. Uh, and uh, this uh, is in default uh, VNet. Uh, okay now we will go ahead and uh, open the uh, pg admin here we will register for the server and then uh, uh, i'm going to call this one tbit1 that's uh, the name i'm gonna just uh, provide ip here my user is postgres and i'm going to provide the, the password here now i will do the same thing uh, i need to connect to the tbit2 I will open it and then take the public IP of that and connect uh, by using PG admin. So I'm going to copy, go back to the PG admin here, and uh, then uh, right click here, register server, and then tbit2 and the in the connection provide IP and then provide the username and hit save. Now let's do a uh, couple of things here. Here, uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a database uh, and I'm going to call that database uh, uh, Sales Europe. Okay, that's the database name I created. And uh, in the TBIT1, uh, I'm going to create a database called the Sales underscore Europe uh, Asia. So Sales underscore Asia. So we have two databases, uh, one uh, in each of them, uh, and here is Asia, and uh, in the other server we have Sales uh, Europe. Uh, I'm going to right click on Sales Asia and open uh, Query Tool, and the same thing I will do with the Sales uh, Europe, uh, and then I will create uh, tables in each of them, uh, and then we'll uh, try to query them. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I have the scripts ready. I will put these all the scripts uh, in the description so you can use them. Uh, so first of all, you can see that I have a, a sales uh, Asia sale table that I would like to create in the sales underscore Asia database. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead right here and uh, see right there sales underscore Asia tab and uh, paste and uh, I will create uh, this table. And this has my name and uh, region Asia and uh, that's very simple only one record right there okay we can see right there now let's go to this sale europe and uh, then uh, copy the query and create the table let's paste the queries here let's create a table and lisa lives uh, with id2 in the europe region that's what uh, the record says and uh, then we are going to select the data okay now we have uh, two different servers here and two different databases and uh, now we would like to uh, query them together so if i will go ahead and um, what i want to do i want to join uh, union uh, these uh, two tables uh, okay so europe sale and the asia sale that's what my goal is uh. so there there is no straightforward way that we would do in uh, sql like red link server and uh, do uh, that but uh, here in uh, postgres what we are going to do we are going to follow these steps uh, to make that happen uh. Now, first of all, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to take these queries and run into the 
uh, our sale Europe. So I'm going to create this uh, user and give him permission on the Europe sale table. Um, so create user uh, FTW with password and once uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the user here and then uh, we grant uh, permission uh, to the public schema and then we grant uh, select on the Europe sale table. Uh, that's done. We are going to go back to the sale Asia and then uh, now our work start there. If you go into the sales Asia, sales Asia database and run this uh, statement, we are looking for the table which has a sale in it. Uh, and you can see that as of now, I am only one table in the sales Asia and uh, the name is uh, Asia sale uh, and it's a base table. After performing all that, we will run the same query and you will see there would be another entry called the table type foreign because that will be coming from uh, sales underscore Europe. That's a different uh, um, Postgres SQL uh, instance. Uh, now, first of all, uh, I need to create this extension of uh, Postgres FDW. So I'm going to go ahead and create that extension and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and select that extension uh, uh, and see if it is available. See, see right there, the extension is uh, created successfully great now we will be creating the foreign data wrapper see here I said create server name of this whatever the name you want to provide I said the secondary DB server and a foreign data wrapper Postgres so this is extension used right there with options host and here you have to provide the IP of data so as we want the Europe data to be accessed from the TB IT2 uh, server I'm gonna go right here tbit2 and uh, I'm going to select uh, the private IP of this server I'm gonna copy and uh, paste uh, right there and then I'm going to use uh, this uh, uh, port 5432 default port and database name is sales Europe um, you guys can already see that and I'm going to create this uh, foreign server execute create server successful Let's check by using the select query and uh, on this uh, pg underscore forum server. So you can see right there it's created with IP and all that. Now we will create a user mapping. So create user mapping for Postgres. In my case, I'm using Postgres uh, user, but you can use different user if you want. Uh, server and that's our foreign server option user so use this user as uh, it has permission on the sales Europe uh, Europe sale table uh, that we just provided before so I'm gonna go ahead and execute this one and it's gonna create a mapping uh. so now what we'll do we will check the mapping and here uh, you can see the mapping here and next step is the uh, grant usage on foreign server to this uh, this uh, name to our user as we are going to use Postgres uh, as user so we have to provide the permission there okay so that's done and next part is uh, we are going to import schema right here I'm using only this uh, table so I'm saying lim2 if you want to do all tables or everything just remove this part you don't need this uh, as I'm doing only for single table I want to just restrict uh, to single table that's why I have a limit to only single table you can always put comma and more tables or just uh, totally remove it uh, in, if you don't want it so import foreign schema public and the limit to this table in my case only and from a server this our secondary server foreign server that we created into public schema here so let's go ahead and execute and uh, that's the import schema is successful and now if you go ahead and uh, query Europe table see right there public dot Europe table Europe sale you will be able to see the data here so even we are in a sales Asia on TBIT we are able to see the data coming from the Europe sale table that's on a TB IT2 on the sales Europe table so you are doing cross database queries you can also use a union so you can show two tables at the same time one from our TBIT sales Asia and then the other one is the TBIT2 sales Europe 
and these are the tables you can see this data Amir, that's me and the second one is uh, Lisa this she's in Europe uh, so you can join if you want or all that what you can do so if you go to the uh, TBIT and uh, then uh, you will go to the foreign data wrappers here you are gonna see that uh, Postgres uh, extension right there you're gonna see the server that you have and then you have uh, you will see server right there you will see the mapping created as well uh, so it looks like uh, in a linked server in SQL server where you have uh, created link servers under that and then you will see that but here you are seeing this under extension uh, for a data wrapper here and then uh, you will see all that details uh, so I will put the script in the description uh, so you can use it and this is how you will uh, uh, do the cross uh, servers uh, queries uh, in the GCP Postgres uh, SQL instances. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.